What's up everybody? So I came out here on a super sunny day because I want to try this silver shadow. Because I want to try this silver shadow uh, umbrella on my walk today. That's why I came out here at uh, 12, 12.45 to go ahead and see if this thing actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing and get under the uh, get under the umbrella because yesterday's walk I did it at roughly the same time and I got absolutely scorched. So looking forward to this thing working for me today. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. And I'll let you know if the silver shadow actually works from Six Moon Designs. Okay so the the area that I'm gonna be walking through is the Fullerton Loop. This is the uh, walk that I typically do whenever I do my training hikes. It's a, uh, it's a hilly area in uh, a city that's about 10 miles away from my, my city. I kind of live in the, uh, the flat grounds, but uh, this is where I go walking and the Fullerton Loop is completely exposed pretty much the entire way except for like the small portion that's kind of under tree cover. But uh, this is a perfect place to test out this, uh, this umbrella. Yeah, I got burnt up yesterday, so I thought, you know what, today I'm gonna bring out the umbrella. I can tell you I've been walking with it for just a few minutes, and I don't know if it's the placebo effect or what, but I could certainly tell the difference under this thing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's like night and day, but we'll keep at it. I'll let you know how it goes. This uh, trail that I'm gonna be going on, it's roughly about uh, 4.8 miles. or so, but it's gonna go through some pretty open areas, some pretty hilly areas, some parks, and uh, should be in pretty interesting how the Silver Shadow uh, handles all this sun, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Wow, I am really quite shocked at how well this is working. The, uh, the main thing that I gotta remember is I gotta point it to where the sun is to get the maximum coverage. Um, right now the sun is on that side, but since I'm vlogging, I'm holding it in my left hand, but I've been using it in my right hand and uh, it's been giving me some pretty good coverage from the, uh, from the sun. Again, I'm really quite surprised at how well it's working. Um, yeah, so the Silver Shadow by uh, Six Moon Designs. I actually purchased this with my own money uh, a couple years ago when I was gonna go to Catalina Island. I ended up not using it because it was really cool. Uh, ultimately when we went but this last time that we went just like a couple months ago or whatever it is a month ago I would have loved to have had this thing at Catalina Island I don't know I just wasn't thinking I didn't think it'd be that that warm but it would have been nice to have that kind of uh, that kind of coverage one thing that I'm noticing though actually having to hold it in your hand is kind of annoying and uh, I could see why people attach it to you like the the strap of their backpack and what have you. It uh, certainly makes it for less fuss. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna keep at it. There's certainly some seriously sunny parts. I'm about to hit a real long stretch. Good like three plus miles with uh, little to no coverage. So should be interesting. I'll keep you posted. So the one thing that I have to be, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, trail over there. Then it goes way down over that way. That's a very, very steep hill. This particular area, the Fullerton Loop is, is rather uh, sketchy because uh, there's uh, uh, mountain bikes that come riding through like crazy through here. So you have to be careful when you go through this spot. They have a sign that says no mountain bikers, but you know, there's some pretty, some pretty uh, Pretty good mountain bikers actually take this hill down, so I gotta skedaddle and uh, head on down this hill as quick as possible and uh, get the heck out of their way just in case one comes up behind me. I've already seen quite a few already on the trail, but uh, so far so good with the Silver Shadow. Still working out great. Uh, I've been running across people, so I put on my my face mask and I'll bring it up to my face if I run in, run across anybody. But uh, yeah, keeping at it and. Uh, 
we'll see how this goes. I still got some exceptionally sunny parts that I've got to hit. They're gonna be back over in that direction where that uh, hill is. I'm actually gonna go down through here, then go all the way down, 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 and then back around up that hill through there, back around through there in that area, and then ultimately come back to where I was, where I originally parked. But yep, doing pretty good, having a great time. We'll see you guys in a bit. So one thing that I've noticed with the uh, Silver Shadow, and I would assume it's true with any any umbrella, is uh, when you get to some breezy areas, um, boy, the, the thing really wants to just kind of fly out of your hands. So, you know, no shock there in a sense, but uh, yeah, it makes you wonder how viable that, that attachment point is to your actual uh, to your actual so shoulder strap if it would actually work correctly. Or at least you'd have to really um, really get it, get it tightened on that there really well. <clears throat> but uh, outside of that, and the whole switching hands thing, uh, assuming that I keep this you know correctly pointed to where the sun is coming from, it's actually working out pretty great. I'm really enjoying it. You know, <laughs> some people some people look at you weird, but uh, yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do? What's new? I already knew I was weird. I didn't, didn't need to walk around with an umbrella to tell me that. So uh, I'm gonna keep at it. It's uh, been a very enjoyable walk. I mean, if you have to walk in the middle of the day, I'm certainly happy that I got one of these with me right now, so. You know, I've, uh, I've kind of avoided saying anything about this whole coronavirus thing that's been going on. But uh, I guess I could say one thing that probably a lot of people can, can agree with, that uh, I'm walking away from this situation with a healthier understanding of how blessed I was before all these stay at home orders were implemented and everything drastically changed in life where I haven't seen any of my coworkers in forever. You know, uh, everywhere you go, you gotta practice social distancing. I mean, literally, you know, everything's different. But uh, if there's anything that I've walked away from the situation realizing is uh, how blessed I was, how, I, how blessed I continue to be. That's another thing, you know, that I can't, uh, can't forget. And uh, I hope I can walk away from all this, this situation with more gratitude for the things that I have, more gratitude for the opportunities that I've been given and the blessings I've been given, the health that I've been given, the ability to come out here on a Sunday and test gear, some of the, you know, simple things in life that you take for granted so easily. Okay, so now I'm walking through what's probably <clears throat> what's probably the uh, sunniest part of this trail. And boy, it's interesting. Um, as I'm walking, I could kind of tell, I could feel like my body heat up in a certain place, whether it be my back or my arms. And it's interesting, you could tell that I'm not covering myself with that, uh, that umbrella, or with this umbrella. And uh, what I notice is once I angle the umbrella correctly and cover that area that gets hot, I mean, it's almost instantly it cools off. So this umbrella is having quite an effect, apparently. Um, that doesn't change the fact that it's insanely hot out here. I mean, I'm still sweating like crazy, but I can only imagine it'd be 10 times worse if I didn't have the umbrella uh, with me. So really glad I brought it out here, actually. I know I brought it out to test out, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad I have it now. So uh, I got another couple big hills coming up here and then a long straightaway going down and then a, uh, a street walk back to the car. Uh, those are all completely exposed, so um, yeah, we'll see how that all ends up uh, working out. But so far, the Silver Shadow by Six Moon Designs making a huge difference today on this hot day. <laughs> oh, my. oh my gosh, dude, it is so hot. Wow. Uh, so again, I want to say something that I can't take away the fact that it's super duper hot. 
that's just, it is what it is. I am feeling it from the heat. But I can tell you right now, had I not had this thing with me, with my, my bald head there, and uh, uncovered arms and what have you, boy, I would have been faring a lot worse than I am right now. I mean, definitely my head is nice and cool. I mean, the one, the one positive to taking an umbrella as opposed to wearing a hat is that uh, your hair, not your hair, hello, your head can, uh, can release a whole bunch of heat. It, it isn't all trapped under the hat. And yeah, the hat can provide some shade and what have you for your eyes, but it doesn't always do very much for, for heat. It doesn't allow the heat to dissipate. So that's why I was kind of interested in seeing how this umbrella worked because my preference would be to take an umbrella uh, you know, on a hot day like this, if I had to walk in the middle of the day, uh, I'd much rather take an umbrella than take a hat. Um, because this not only gives you more coverage overall, but it allows the heat to dissipate from your head. But, uh, yeah, so far doing good. But it is, it is wicked hot right now. Uh, we're going back, we're going back up a hill again. So I'll put this thing away before I huff and puff too much. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so happy I'm back in the car with the air conditioning. My little fuzzy thing on my microphone came off, so I don't know how it's gonna sound. It might, might sound a little bit harsh. Um, walked with the sh Silver Shadow pretty much the entire way. I mean, I got out of the car, I did my quick intro, and then pretty much deployed the, uh, the umbrella and just kept walking with it the whole time. I think had I not had that thing, oh my gosh, dude, I would have just been toasted by the sun. So I'm really, really happy that I brought that thing with me. Um, it absolutely positively made a difference uh, having it. Now, is it gonna solve every single problem of yours <laughs> if you were to, to take it with you? No, but does it uh, provide shade? Uh, if you can go ahead and point it in the right way, yes, it provides shade and it provides excellent coverage. Um, I, I did feel like there was a degree difference underneath the, uh, the umbrella, it was interesting when there were times when, when I was walking, I didn't notice that the sun was hitting me. This is what I was trying to say earlier on the trail. I don't know if it actually came through, like if I made any sort of sense during that part, because I was delirious because it was so hot. But uh, it was interesting, my body would get hot at certain areas, like my black shirt would start absorbing the sun. And then all of a sudden I realized, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, the sun's beating on my shirt or, you know, beating on my shoulders or something like that. I'm not covering my arm. As soon as I adjusted the uh, the umbrella to cover that area, I mean, it instantane instantaneously cooled off. So, I, I mean, I can't quantify the degree difference of being under the umbrella as opposed to not being under the umbrella, but there was an obvious difference. Uh, I could certainly tell you that for sure. So, those are my findings. Um, I mean, if you're looking for, for sun protection uh, when you're backpacking, when you're walking out in the middle of the day and what have you, seriously consider the sun shadow. Um, by uh, Six Moon Designs. Really, uh, I'm very surprised at the difference, um, uh, how much more enjoyable my, wa my walk was, um, despite the fact that it was insanely hot. Um, yeah, how much more enjoyable it was using the, uh, the Silver Shadow. That's pretty much it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to also hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll, uh, you'll be notified every single time I post a video. Until next time, take care.